Hizaki Kato versus Melvin Manhoff at 185. Two guys come in with a lot of questions. Melvin Manhoff, the question is, has he taken too many beatings in the cage? Does he have the chin? Does he have the aggression? The last time against Alexander Shlomenko, he seemed gun shy. Melvin Manhoff is a wild animal in the cage. That's how he made his career, always aggressive, always keeping his opponent moving backward. Against Alexander Shemenko, he seemed hesitant to pull the trigger. His opponent, Hisaki Kato, the question for him is, he's fought once in Bellator, a highlight career-defining win against Joe Schilling with the Superman punch. <laughs> but not very experienced, under 10 fights. So it's one of those things where we don't know exactly what he brings. He's pretty much a mystery in the Bellator cage. He made a lot of fans with his performance against Joe Schilling, but we don't know everything he can bring. Keys to victory for Hisaki Kato. Watch the aggression in the opening round. Be prepared to move because the Melvin Manoff of old tended to start quickly. He has to be ready for that kind of bull rush mentality. The second key to victory for Hisaki Kato, don't fall in love with the knockout. He got a lot of fans knocking out Joe Schilling with that Superman punch, but a lot of fighters get addicted to that feeling. He has to be content to use his ground game. Don't get enamored with the knockout punch because if you're looking for it, that's when it doesn't happen. Piece of victory for Melvin Manhoff, get his confidence back. Start fast, believe in his kickboxing, believe in his offensive ability. Number two, don't leave yourself open. He can be winning a fight, everything can be going his way, and he leaves those little gaps that leave him open to the knockout. A fight that cannot help but deliver with a knockout finish. Hizaki Kato versus Melvin Manhoff at 185 pounds, don't blink.